Hello, welcome back to Cloud and Web Developer. Today I'm going to be showing you something that I was working on this week, which is an SSH tunnel. Imagine that you have an app in the cloud somewhere running, and that app has at least two ports, say a port that you want it to be public, that you have information that you don't mind people actually looking at, and you have the same app, you have another port um, that has very private information, right? Something that you do not want people to see. In our case, it was something like an admin panel that only people with administrative privileges was able to use. So uh, we're gonna create a very little app that's gonna have a one endpoint in port 5000, which is gonna be public, and another one in port 5002, which is super private. And the deal with an SSH tunnel is that an SSH tunnel can actually bypass firewalls, is a lot more secure than passwords and even MFA security. So it's one of the best ways that you can secure something. So in this case, you can guarantee that only a person with a private key plus perhaps a passphrase and from a specific terminal can access the information that is in a particular port that you want to protect. So for better explanation, let's have a look at the code. So as you can see here in my VS code, I have a very little Flask application. And if you don't know what a Flask application is or something like that, please refer to past videos of mine. Uh, but anyway, this is as simple as it gets. There is an app.py file that has a route, which is just the, uh, the, route, the root directory. And it's the index. And if you go to this route, you are going to see this display in your browser. This is a public page. And this is gonna be running on your port 5000. And the next one is uh, app2.py, which is exactly the same. The only difference is that this one is gonna be in color red. And it says, this is the super secret page, right? So this is the one we want to protect. And this one, as you can see, is running on port 5002. Actually, I'm just gonna copy this line here. And this one is gonna be running on port 5,000. Right. So let's let's run this locally so you can see how, how it will work. So I'm going to be um, checking that I'm in the right folder. Yes. Python app.py is telling me that it's running in port 5,000. And on the other terminal, I'm going to be running Python app2.py. And this one is running in port 5,002. Okay. Let's, let's go there. So localhost 5,000. And this is the public page, localhost 5002. This is a super secret page. All right, so that works. I just wanted to test it locally so we know that, you know, we're going to be okay when we go online. Now, I have an AWS EC2 instance running, a very basic Ubuntu instance, which is this one right here that says running, right? And that one has uh, an IP address and it has a security group, which is uh, your firewall and the connections that you want um, the people to connect from. So in this case, if you go to the security group assigned to this instance, you can see that it accepts connection from TCP 80, 8080, SSH 22, uh, HTTPS, which is 443. And I added two custom ones for 5000 and 5002. And then the next thing that I did is I uploaded this app that I created in Flask into the server. And it looks like this. So to connect to this, so to connect to this instance through my terminal, you can go to your running instance and then click on connect and SSH client. This is what you need. This is a string that you need to use to connect to the, your instance and you will need your pen file, your security keys. Now we've done this before in previous videos, so I'm not going to tell you how to do it in this one, but you can refer to this video for further instruction on how to do this. Okay. So let, let's do that. So I'm going to use two terminals like we did locally, and I'm just going to replace this Ubuntu PEM with the actual uh, location of the pen file in my, in my s file system, which is, I keep them in this folder and then just going to place it there. Make sure the spaces are correct. There's an extra space somewhere in here. and enter and now that i have that one i'm going to connect to the same terminal on the other one 
right? So I'm inside Ubuntu, and as you can see, I have a Flask app. And I, I have my app.py and app2.py, which is exactly what I did for the other one. And just for good measure, I'm going to activate uh, my uh, virtual environment. Cool. Now, um, and uh, uh, if you want to exactly see what is looking like the the code, I'm just going to go into Vim. And as you can see, app.py is exactly like I show you in VS Code, running on 5000. This is a public page. Okay, so we're going to get out of here. And we can do the same for this one, Vim app2.py. And this one's going to be running port 5002. And this is the super secret page. Okay, so that's, that's all you need right there. Cool, now let's run those apps, Python app.py and python app2.py right and this one it's running on port 5000 this one is running port 5002 now let's see let's see and how do you connect to that so if you want to get the the address of your instance go back into your ec2 dashboard running instance Make sure your instance is uh, selected, and then this is it. So you copy this public IPv4 address, and I'm going to come onto my browser. I'm going to open a new browser, paste that, and I'm going to put the 5000 port. Okay, now I'm connected to my EC2 instance, and this is the public page. I'm going to open another tab, 5002. And this is a super secret private page, right? So this is what I don't want. I don't want people to be able to sniff, you know, to scan my ports and see that this port is actually live and connect to it. So I want to firewall this port, but still make it accessible to one entity um, in, my, in the office or somewhere, right? So one of the things that you can do is to actually firewall that port. And how do you do that? You go into your security groups uh, inside here. And I'm just going to get rid of this, this line right here. So the inbound rules to 5002 right now is allowed. Well, I'm going to disallow that. I'm going to delete that, the 5001. I'm going to save. And if somebody tries to connect again to 5002, I'm just going to open a new uh, tab. It's just going to stay hanging there. Nobody can go in there now, right? They can still go to the 5000 because that one's still available, but this one nobody can go to it. If I try to reload, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to keep hanging in there. All right, so what can you do now? So to create a virtual SSH tunnel, I'm going to open a new terminal. Now to make the SSH tunnel, you open a new terminal, making sure that your, your app's still running in 5000 and 5002. Uh, and I'm going to do this, ssh-i your pen file okay the location in your system of your pen file dash l capital l and now i'm just going to put 8080 in the port 8080 local host 5002 this local host is not my computer this laptop i'm using right now local host this is the local host in the server right so it can be a little bit confusing but this is you you are going to be able to access on your port 8080 of your local host the local host of the server that has a port in 5002 i know it's a little bit confusing but once you see it in action i hope it's going to be clear and then you're going to put ubuntu or root or user whichever uh, user that you're using in your ubuntu system uh, and then the IP address of your EC2 instance, 311. All right, and if all that's correct, if I press enter, I'm inside my Ubuntu terminal. And now what I can, what I'm able to do, I should be able to do now, if, if I go to my local host 8080, yep, there it is. I am in the super secret page, which is located in that port 5002, which is firewall. Like nobody can access there, but this SSH tunnel goes around the firewall and, and let, me, let me access it. So 
I know this is a very simple app and everything, but the possibilities are endless. Once you have this level of security, you can guarantee that you are playing with the big boys in terms of security. If you add a multi-factor authentication to this app here, it's like you're honestly on overkill. But that's the kind of level of security that you can be very confident that your information is going to be secure. So it seems like I'm accessing my local computer, which in a, in a way I am. But then this is the entrance to the tunnel, which bypasses the firewalls and go on to 5002. And remember, the port 5002, if I try to access it directly like here, it's still not going to work, right? That's still firewalls. And um, yeah, right. So I hope this was illustrative. Uh, this is what I was doing this week, as I said, because we require a high level of security for an app that we're building. And I hope you find it useful. Uh, please let me know if you found something um, that you want me to, to, to clarify further or you have a question. If you don't have an, an EC2 account or an Amazon AWS account, I'm going to leave a link of how to make one. This is independent of AWS. You could be hosting this in DigitalOcean or in Google Cloud. It's exactly the same. The commands are the same. It's just that your firewalls on, on your cloud provider might look a little bit different, but it's fine. Or you could use the firewall inside Ubuntu as well, the firewall the port 5002 or the ports that you want to uh, not allow access or allow access. So it's all, it's all the same, but the, the, the idea remains. All right. I hope this was helpful. Okay, please subscribe, leave a comment and like the video. And I'll see you next week for another tutorial. This is Carlos for Cloud and Web Developer. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.